Hi guys, this is Michael here. Today I'm going to show you a little program that is absolutely fantastic. It's so easy to use. It is called So Creative. Now So Creative is an online tool that you can use on your phone and you can use on your computer. And I tell you what, let's just have a look at it. So this is the So Creative home screen. Um, it's going to teach you login. You can log in a number of ways. Um, I use my Google account to log in. The beautiful thing about this app is it runs exactly the same on your phone as it does on here. It's, it's definitely set up for smartphone use as well. Um, so basically, we've got quizzes, quick questions, space race, and an exit ticket. Um, you can also manage your quizzes. You can download quizzes off the internet. There's heaps of quizzes that you can access. Um, you can create a quiz, import a quiz, um, you can get reports on your quizzes, and you can look at your actual quizzes. So here's one I did recently. I edit that. Um, spreadsheets quiz. Now I've got multiple choice questions. Quite a few actually. Go to the bottom. And then in a different colour, you've got short answer questions. You can add pictures to your questions as well. They obviously come up bigger than that when the students are doing them. And there's true or false as well. So let's just say I want to add in a. Let's do a true or false question. So let's click on that. Um, <clears throat> Um, so spreadsheet. So spreadsheets are awesome. Correct answer is true. Okay. And I can add an explanation so that when the students do the question, they get it wrong. You can have the option of an explanation to come up to explain the answer. You can add the image here. You can reposition it by clicking on the arrows. And that's that clicking off it. We'll put it into your quiz. Should do. Um, a multiple choice. Too easy. You have multiple answers. You don't you can tick the correct one. If you don't want to use all of them, you can delete them. You can have less. Uh, very, 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 very easy. And save and exit. Oops, so that's because I that blank. So I'll delete that one. And I'll delete that one because I don't want it. And that is as easy as that. To start a quiz, I can just do that. Select the quiz. Um, student post is the one you want to do if you're just doing a standard test online. But you can actually disable student feedback so they don't get the answer straight away. Um, uh, when I ran this particular quiz, the spreadsheet quiz the other day, I had the questions randomised and the answers are randomized so that students sitting near each other couldn't just look at the person next to them and copy um, and you want to usually put the students names in there you leave that so if I start the activity this shows all the students that are currently enrolled in the quiz which is obviously none all I need to do to get the students onto it is to put the room number on the board right so creative.com Get them to click on student and type in the room number and as long as I've put the quiz in progress they'll be able to start that quiz straight away. It's as easy as that. Um, at the end of the quiz I can get a report as a download, an email from Google, put it into my Google Drive, I can view some charts, I can view it later. Uh, I can select if I want individual student PDFs, specific, uh, sorry, question specific, specific PDFs, and a whole class Excel document. All three are very useful, so I like to do all three, send them to my Google Drive, and then so on. I'll cancel that. So that's the tests, very, very, very user friendly. A quick question is you might put a, it just gives you three options, go multiple choice for example, get students to log into the room again very quickly, very easy, you might just ask them a verbal question in the classroom, 
Okay, guys, quick quiz. You know, what was the capital of Iceland? And you can give them some verbal answers and then get them to choose. Or you can do a, um, a, a quick evaluation of your lesson. You can say, okay, guys, how did you rate today's lesson? Give it a grade, like an A is like the best result, E is the worst result. Um, that sort of thing. Or how are you going? How are you feeling about your progress with the assignment? Give me a, an answer. And the beautiful thing is the results do come in live so you can quickly see where people are at without them having to tell you verbally, um, which is really handy for those kids that are a little bit shy and don't want to speak up. Um, the space race is good fun. You can have, um, it basically works off your quizzes. So for example, that um, spreadsheet quiz, I could do that as a revision thing if I wasn't going to use it as an actual quiz. I can set how many teams I want in the class. So just say there's 20 students in the class and I want to do, want them to work in pairs. I'm going to have 10 teams. Uh, get them to pick their own colour. And basically um, students then decide what colour they want and they join up with a team. Um, when you do that, um, you start the activity. What we've got is all these teams with with little space rockets and the aim is to get to the end first so every time you answer a question correctly it moves the little rocket ship along the line and you can put this up on your big screen so students can see where how they're traveling and it's good fun it's a good way of doing a little uh, revision test highly recommend this website um, it's a fantastic way to um, get responses from students. Uh, the other thing I mentioned at the start was you can use your phone, do the whole thing on your phone, so students can be doing a quiz and you can watch their answers coming up on your phone in real time. Um, that's one of the beautiful things about it, the responses come back to you live. So that's it, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video about So Creative. Please um, go and sign up to it, it's excellent, you won't regret it, and see you next time.